Hey everyone! Today's video is going to be about the Georgia Middle School District Band Etude. So I'm going to play through the entire thing and then I'm going to give some tips on how to practice it effectively. So here we go! So that's the etude. If you don't feel comfortable going at that tempo, please slow it down, especially when you're practicing. And even if you go a little bit slower than that in the actual audition, it's really not going to be a huge deal. It's better to be accurate than to try to really be exactly at the right tempo. So watch your key signature at the beginning. Your second note is going to be a D flat. So you've got to play that note in second position every time. Um, that's something that's going to be really obvious to the judges if you miss the key signature. So D flats all throughout this piece unless you have an accidental. I would definitely take it in small chunks. So if you're first working on this for the very first time, I would look at the beginning. Um, I would just work on the first four measures to start with. And I would take it definitely down tempo with a metronome. So I would maybe do something like this, and around this tempo. Okay, so start there. If that is still too fast, slow it down. If you want to do just the first two measures, then just look at the first two measures. There are a lot of dotted quarter notes followed by eighth notes. So just be very rhythmically accurate with that. Make sure you're counting that. For example, in measure one, you have one and two, and then the next note is on the and of three. So um, let me just count that for you. It's going to be one and two and three and one. The exact same rhythm happens in measure three. Okay, one and two and three, or and one, I guess. One and two and one. There it is. Um, that happens in measure, measure five, measure six, measure nine, measure thirteen. Uh, 15, 16, 17, measure 17, that rhythm happens several times in this, in this etude, so definitely be familiar and comfortable with that rhythm with the dotted quarter note. Another tip is to practice the interval between two notes. If there is a large leap and you're not feeling accurate on the note on the partial, isolate just those two notes. In measure 7, when you have this little figure, Right? First, just do the B flat to the E flat and get really comfortable with that. Okay? You can also buzz those two notes. And uh, when you buzz that, I would recommend doing it as a gliss without using any tongue. And then try to play it again. So that's something you can apply to anything in this music. Another good place to apply that exercise is going from measure 8 into measure 9, where you have a leap from an E flat up to a C. So this is an ascending leap, because we're going up. I 
would think about leaning into the lower note to kind of push you up to the higher note, which is going to require faster air. Another thing is dynamics. So I could probably have exaggerated them more. I'm not sure how well they're going to come across on the video, but the crescendos, the day crescendos, all of that, I want you to really exaggerate as much as possible. Look at measures 16 through 18. We go from piano all the way up to fortissimo, and we're also going higher in our range. So that's going to help with the crescendo, but still really exaggerate that. And that E flat is really the big point that we're going for. So don't be afraid to really go for it in that moment. And because there is a fermata on that E flat, you can hold that note out as long as you feel comfortable. Definitely uh, don't overdo it, but uh, if you do hold it out for a while and you have a good sound, it's going to impress the judges for sure. So just a few other things is make sure that you're playing with your best tone that you can. If you're having a hard time with that, do some long tones, practice slow, um, and definitely practice with a metronome, especially early on. You want to get away from the metronome a little bit later, but use the metronome a lot in the beginning. Phrasing is going to be really important in a piece like this. It's very lyrical, it's very song-like. Cantabile, which is one of the words at the beginning, means like you would sing it. Okay, so think about how someone would sing this music. You want to play with long notes. Okay, you definitely do not want to play like this. So since we cannot really truly slur our notes, we need to use our legato tongue. So we don't want to play choppy and short, and we don't want to play with a really aggressive tongue. Think about da or la if you're using syllables. For example, I'm going to play measures 11 through 12, and I'm going to play it the wrong way, and then I'm going to play it the correct way. There are two spots where you have a little run of 16th notes, and if you'll notice, they're actually the exact same notes. So sometimes we see 16th notes and we freak out because we're like, oh my gosh, that's going to be fast. Well, not really. You can relax. It's not that bad. So just practice it slowly and you're going to be fine. Look at the first four notes in measure 15. And I'm going to play them nice and slow the first time. <laughs> Speed that up, little by little, you're only moving your slide out for the E natural, so your arm isn't having to do too much work, it's just Ba -da -da -da. It's very, very, very close. And it's really not your arm that's going to move, it's just your wrist. So don't um, over muscle that. It's not uh, a very big motion at all. Just keep it really close. The F's and the B natural or the B flat are all in first position. So here's one more tip for you, and that is make sure that you're holding out your notes the proper length. If you have a dotted half note, like at the end of this piece, Hold it out all three beats. If you have a quarter note at the end of a phrase, hold it all the way out. Don't clip it short and turn it into an eighth note. So let me play the last couple measures here, and I want you to notice that I really hold out that last note. And same goes for just anywhere in the piece, especially at the end of a phrase. It's going to sound really choppy if you're clipping all your notes short. I hope that was helpful. Good luck everyone who is auditioning. Remember that this is an experience and if you don't make it, that is okay. You've still worked hard. You've still improved as a musician and um, you should be proud of yourself for trying. So good luck. Good luck. Um, I wish you all the best and I will see you all next week for my next video. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.